handles. I like how it feels. Compared to the Zebo, it's all relative, I feel like. It's all close. The Microsoft Lights of World is what has me wanting this. Wanted me to use this over the Zebo, though. I've got to figure out what is causing that. Oh, your stream did, in fact, die? Yeah, it does that. It. I think my bitrate just drops just enough for Twitch to kick me off. And the pain in the butt is, like, OBS will not tell me. Um, it, it Like, it'll stop on Twitch's end. OBS is still sending data. I don't know where it's sending it to, but it's sending it somewhere. And it'll just keep on going happily like nothing happened. The only indication I have that the stream died is my view count will drop to zero, and it should always be at least one because it counts me because I have the stream thing open on a web page. Because I have the stream thing open. I remember World Travel Airlines. <laughs> World Travel. I like I'm new to this channel. But I like oh, I'm just going to read these. I think there's three messages I got to catch up with. It. I'm new to this channel, but I like Aviate Life from Microsoft Flight Sim. It's similar to FS Economy, but you can buy jets as long as you have the money. You start off renting like FSE. You also don't have to worry about the wet, dry fuel thing like FSE. It's just fuel. Thank God. And Summer said, I don't know why I was thinking about this, but. What is the caravan? What if the caravan had two F-18 engines and went Mach 1? <laughs> It'd probably fall apart. <laughs> it probably would. Yeah, it would be just parts flying through the sky at that point. I wonder what the, what's the max speed? Of a caravan? Oh shit. I'm over speed. How'd that happen? Uh, max speed we're up your monitoring. is... Uh, it's pretty slow, actually. Did flaps come out or something? Uh oh. Speaking of planes, planes falling apart. Yeah. As soon as we start talking about that, I hear the the click 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 click. <laughs> it did fix itself though. I don't know. Maybe the weather changed. That could do it. That usually is what does it. Weather updates. Okay. As we were saying, crisis averted. Ah, uh, we're still good on fuel. Alright. Center tank is almost dry. But it's still going. Actually, come to think of it, where's my center tank at? Uh, is that total? No, that's center. I guess I could let the passengers up from their seats. <laughs> like, oh, by the way, you can get up now. We've been flying straight and level for hours. <laughs> okay. I heard a captain say they had sometimes. Yeah, it, it's not uncommon. I mean, it's not like people listen to it either, so... Oh, hell no. They don't listen to anything. I saw a guy, the worst I ever saw this guy, it wasn't that bad. He's making a phone call as we're rotating. <laughs> he realized, dude, if anything goes wrong, that phone becomes a projectile. Forget the, does it interfere with the, the aircraft, like, it's gonna go flying at somebody's head. Yeah, that's the big worry. I just don't get it. Eh. They make that mistake exactly once. How far out are we? Uh, let me see. Are we oh, halfway? There's... Are we there yet? Serving snacks on my plane at the moment. 97 out of 147 passengers have received a snack. Let's see. Estimated 2 That's hours, cool. 26 minutes. 887 miles to go for me. Probably about the same for you. Yeah, I'm not far behind. We're at the halfway mark. Hooray! Doing things. This is the a weird approach. I've done in years. I don't even have a star into San Jose. It's just one waypoint, and then just straight over to the runway. Yeah, I saw that. You gotta, you gotta make your own star. 
That's what they had on the. That's what Simbrief gave me, and that's what they had on Flight Aware for this flight. There aren't any stars into San Jose from the uh, west. I looked last night. Oh, that's why. Man, my bit rate I don't is even very know. unstable. Oh, there's rain over there. That's weird. I don't even know where I'll park this. Kind of a weird airline. Where I'm supposed to park at. I'm sure they'll tell me. Dispatch will send me a message near the top of the sense like, hey, park at this gate. And then halfway down it, they'll say, never mind, park at this one. Three hours to go, boys. That said, the issue as with the Cessna Grand Caravan is the 180, is the EX is 186 knots according to the Cessna website. I'm not sure if that is true or indicated airspeed, though. That's probably true. That sounds about right. Oh, we're back from Target. Hold on. <laughs> I'm muted for chat. You can hear that, but I don't want the stream to hear that. His dogs are losing their minds. <laughs> sounds like a shelter. Good time to eat Paw Patrol cookies. There's been a stray cat hanging around my house recently. I've been thinking about catching it and taking it to a shelter. I hadn't seen it in a couple days. Speaking of cats, we had a whole bunch of kittens recently that someone just like left at my wife's uh, store. Oh. He found them in, in his garage, but they were like a week old or less. So we bottle fed them for a night. We actually got animal control to come out and pick them up, which really surprised me because animal control, unless you got an alligator in your backyard, they usually don't come out for anything. Yeah. Done that a few times, picking up stray dogs. Just take them over to the shelter. Sometimes, actually, an owner. The window is looking a bit dark. Worried. Even if I took her to a shelter, she probably wouldn't find a home, and they'd have to put her down because she she is a black cat, and there's a stigma against them. A lot of people don't want to have black cats for some reason. Bad luck thing. Yes. I don't know. They typically. I guess it depends on the shelter. Some shelters won't kill if they don't like. They won't kill like based on spacing. It might if it's a dangerous animal, but yeah, it would just depend where you take it. You can take it to who knows? I don't know. There's always local rescues and look. stuff, but uh, I'd still have to catch her. And then I need. What do you do for a living? I I do um, graphic design and web work, updating websites, doing doing graphics work, um, producing signs and. Basically, any graphic media, any web stuff. He plays with Photoshop yeah, all day. Photography. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Photoshop and design, Illustrator. Like right now, I'm working on brochures. I got eight brochures I gotta make. From somebody else's design. Do you work remote or do you have an office? Ever since COVID, remote, one day in the week. Or one day I come in. And the rest is remote, so, which is awesome. I hope it stays. COVID changed the workforce that way. I recently applied for a job to be a video editor. I get to do a little bit of that too, but it's rare. Well, you know, for my actual job, for flight sim, yeah, that's that's what I do. Mm. I want to try. I you know try. what? What? Oh, I was going to say, I, I recently was thinking, like, oh, I'm going to get back into doing these trip vlogs. It is so much easier to stream. Yeah. Because you end up making mistakes. Like, I, you got to go outside the plane to get a shot that you want and this, and it's just, it's so, so tedious. I'm still going to do it. It's just, streams are so much more fun, I think. They are. Streams are way easier. And you get to see us mess up. 
Yeah, that happens. There for that 717 crash. Bad. You know what's funny is people watch that video back and they miss the part where I crashed. They're skipping ahead to the, the actual landing and they miss the other one. That was when I pushed, um, thought I was pushing takeoff go around and I pushed autopilot and then it just trimmed nose down. Completely nose down, it was over. That's weird. I don't know why it would trim like that. Probably doesn't. Real thing. Well, no, it, what it was trying to do is it was trying to catch the glide slope at the point it should have been at. Uh, one mile final or whatever. You, you so it trimmed it all the way on. down. Yeah, I turned autopilot back on instead of go, go around. I wanted to go around. It was kind of an unstable approach, and then it just went. There was no saving it. I've watched that no back fixing that recently trim. because I was talking with someone about how clips work on YouTube versus Twitch, and that it didn't look that unstable. Really, you could have recovered from that. I think I had four reds. That's why I went around. Uh, but like, hey, yeah, right? It wasn't like that unstable. It's just got the whole four red, and you're dead. If I wasn't streaming, I would have salvaged that for sure. Wouldn't have cared. They're going to be a. They're they're supposed to port it over eventually, but right now their focus is an MD11. They uh, they showed it at Flight Sim Expo. I was at their booth filming it. Even though it's night, you can see the plane. Where's the moon? Look at this. Look at uh, space. That's crazy. I don't see the moon, though. Oh, there's the moon. Are we supposed to have the cabin lights on? Oh, wow. <laughs> yep, found the moon. That's galley, right? That's what they call that? Galley light? Galley? I think so. When I turn off galley lights, is that what it does? Uh... Galley power. I don't know. Oh, uh, let's see. I always forget. Where, where's the switch for that? I saw it earlier. Moon I was thinking screen. about it. Get a screenshot of that. That um, looks pretty good. Where would it be? The only thing wrong with this is my cabin lights aren't on, which is kind of funny. Galley power. On the 737, it's near the battery switch. I know that much. That must be something else. Put on the dome light. Oh. There they right. go. Uh, you have to manually control the cabin lights in this airplane. What's the dim one look like? It's nice, nice reading there light. They'd probably have that on right now. The model, like the cabin lights on my airplane are blue. They have a distinctive blue tone to them. Hmm. The thing about flying in the night in some planes, windows, and Microsoft Flight Sim just looks straight up see through. Yeah, like these. <laughs> these look see through. Um, the fly-by-wire, or the A320 in general, I think it's default, too. They look pretty good. Like, they have scratches and stuff. I like it. You're going to wait for the 738 and then buy the Phoenix to satisfy the urge. I told myself I was going to wait for the 738, but I didn't. Make I'll probably buy that too. I have no interest in having the six. Is there, is there any, I did my, my there, Janet flights recently. I don't think I'll do those for a while. Muted on Discord. Damn. I'll get the eight and I'll get that max. I was muted Gotta on get Discord. The max. I, I've been saying things for like two minutes and was muted. Oh, I, I was about to say something. We lost. About to check. 
Um, what was I going to say? I was going to ask, was like anyone taking, is using the fly-by-wire to make other airplanes? Like just use the fly-by-wire cockpit but make an A319? Has anyone done that yet? They did that for the A330. Did that in A330. And an A3... It's the other variant. So it's an A330, but there's like... What uh, number do they go up to? 200 and 300, oh, I think. 300. I thought there was one higher for some reason. I can't remember. There's too many planes. They're all the same. Yeah, the BBJ, the cargo version. I haven't even flown that yet. Which version has the table? I saw a version there's like a table. It looks all fancy, like it's first class. I keep seeing pictures of it, but I don't know. Uh, how do I fly that? The cabin. Then I start, I got the regular cabin. You guys heard the PMG is going to bring the Jetstream 4100 to Microsoft Flight Center? What? They got big plans. The 900, yeah. There's that one. No, not A340. I was I was thinking of the the 900 variant. They got the 900 and the 300. It's free. If you had Microsoft Flight Sim, you would love all the free stuff. There is so much free stuff. Do you ever go on Flight Sim too? Oh yeah, I've been browsing there. Every day, every day, there's like 50 uploads. Awesome. How many of them are good? Is the question. As you know, I'd say a good handful of them, a good amount of them are, are pretty good. I have seen plenty of good ones on there, actually. The go-to website for FSX and P3D for quality freeware is Riku. And I've seen some FS2020 stuff on there, but not much. Definitely not nearly as much as .to, .to, whatever you want to call it. .to, yeah. I don't know. I never know. And so the the 737's a hundred dollars out that way. Howdy, Land of Lakes, you're back. Welcome back. Really cool to go to Area 51 in the Janet flight. I just gotta get one of those jobs. Huh. I get really smart and become a physicist or something. I'm sure it ain't all it's cracked up to be. I think you have to live there for like a week. Probably. Well, some of them do. Like they'll do a week on or two weeks on, weeks off. And the worst part is, there probably ain't nothing really that fancy there. Oh, you're gonna end up like the guy in Independence Day. Remember the scientist? Like, they don't let us out much. The guy with the long hair? Oh, yeah. Played, um... Noki, thank you for the alert, Noki. I'm just now seeing your message three minutes later. <laughs> BBJ has the table. I want to fly that. Well, rich people have meetings. I'm doing that. I'm doing that next. It's just... I don't know what it is, but this plane, or all the planes, except for that the H145, you go to the back, oh, you have to keep moving the camera with the aircraft. Because it, it just bounces up and down. Like, if I, if I do it now... Yeah, it's probably how the whole camera works. Yeah, yeah, like this one's like that too. But the 145, you can just be back there and it's smooth. You don't have to keep adjusting it. The sound of these engines is making me tired. What, are they, what is it? They just hit the, the perfect frequency.
But tomorrow. Still again. Eli, come here. What does this button do? This plays a ding. That's what it does. It's not bright enough in here to see anything. I'm in the dark. And this dog is black, so you can't see him. Or his face. Or he has the tan. Oh, can you keep that open, please? It just gets too hot in here. Let's see, what did the temperature cool down to? Man, now my, now my hand smells like dog. Thank you. It is 72, almost good enough to open the window. Oh, there goes that center pump. Check out the Cinemaware. Get them off. Let's see what's in front of us. A whole lot of nothing. Let me refresh this to make sure it's updated properly. Summer said in the in the BBJ you can have three black SUVs pull up. Awesome. I've got to do that. I've got to come up with some flight for that. Now that I would do a trip vlog for. That would be fun. I can't wait for the triple seven to come. Oh, there so is nothing in Brisbane, front of us. Dallas. The traffic in San nope. Fran has calmed down. There's a couple people at San Jose. Ground and Adis is online there, but other than that, nothing. There's a big line of planes coming from San Diego. I see Diego to I'm looking West at that right Vegas. now. Yeah, one's out of Burbank. Let's see what we got. San Diego, San Diego, one Burbank in the middle. Another San Diego. Streaming. Seems like stream behavior. It seems like event behavior. They're all southwest. Yeah, no I wonder if that's a virtual airline doing an event. No covers. See, half the time when I use VATS and this is what I get. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Because I fly it at late hours. Sometimes you so I was happy to get... Yeah, I, I, I mean, I didn't have, like, complete coverage the other day, but it was good, better than what I usually get. About a month or two ago, a friend of mine, uh, when the when that A340 for X-Wing came out a few months back, he did an event into New York during VATSIM, and it was such a cluster frack. It, oh, my <laughs> God. Full ATC, which was nice, but it, this is what happened, right? He flew... He flew, um... Reagan from Washington, D.C. to uh, New York, not LaGuardia, not JFK. What's the other one? Not LaGuardia, not JFK? Yeah, what's the third one? Uh, Newark, that's it. He flew yeah. to from Reagan to Newark. And how long of a flight do you think that is? Probably not even an hour. Mm -hmm. It took almost two hours. He was, was he holding? He was ground stopped for 30 minutes. He got a reroute that added another 30 minutes. And then he had to hold for another 30 minutes. And he wasn't the only one. They were holding planes all over the place. Dude. And this was on bat too I'm much. Like, Good lord. And then, of course, there was somebody who thought their first flight on bat would be a good idea to do it during an event. So... <gasps> No, you can't. Yeah, you can't do that. I am. I am so support. I I support new people coming on and doing their thing. Maybe don't do it out during an event, especially when we're already having sequencing problems. That's yeah. You got to do it at like a normal chill time. That's that's really bad. Yeah. Well, some people don't know. You, yeah. It, it's really a different, totally different world. From typical multiplayer, yeah, I do. I do know. I get it. But it's not, that's but still like sense should tell you if you look into it at all. They tend to want to take this kind of seriously. But maybe mm -hmm. it a little bit of common sense. And of course, there's always the universal sign that someone is a noob. Do you know what that one is? What? If they're using the call they spawn sign, on the runway. If they're using the call sign Air Force One. Yeah. Very rarely have <laughs> I seen anyone use that call sign on Batson that knows what they're doing. 
Although it is always a nice treat when you do find someone who does. Air Force One, one, two, three. The, the, the universal one is if they enter the call sign in wrong. So it's supposed to be like AF001, I believe. That's how it's supposed to be entered. But if they enter it as Air Force One, like literally spell it out. Always fun. Always fun. Maybe that's the... Chad is saying you can do trips to the Titanic. Off topic. Wait. The actual Titanic. Where? In real life? He said you have to be a, like a really smart oceanic science person or very rich. Yeah, because like those subs ain't cheap. Neither is the boat. I, I they rebuild the Titanic and they're going to do the the, yeah, the trips was, again. I don't know what happened to it. There was some rich guy doing a Titanic too. I mean, it wasn't a hundred percent copy. It was modernized. Obviously, we don't want to repeat. Did you hear the conspiracy theory that the Titanic wasn't the actual, like, new Titanic? There was, were several it was, ships. It was swapped out with yeah. the Olympic. I've heard a yeah. lot of conspiracy theories about the Titanic. Almost none of them are right. Titanic 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Thank you, Doki. What was the, uh, there was another one. Fire. The only conspiracy theory, and this one's not even really a conspiracy theory that I've heard that I actually believe about the Titanic was the one about how since it was it was really, really cold that night and that made it harder for the lookouts to see the iceberg. It was something about how the temperature affects the way light moves through the atmosphere and stuff like that. And that, that one's the only conspiracy I've heard that makes sense that I actually believe. Did the lookout guy go to bed, really? No, no, there were lookouts in the crow's nest. What or like, like something? What was locked up? There was something locked up, and the dude that had the key wasn't around. Uh, I don't remember exactly. I know the the ship. A lot of people don't know this. There was a ship nearby, within ten miles of the Titanic, that basically sat and watched it sink. And they, the reason they did is they they didn't have their radio turned on. The radio operator had went to bed. Oh, that's what I'm mixing it up with. Okay, yeah. I don't remember that ship's name. Fun side fact, there's a deleted scene in the James Cameron movie that depicts that. Uh, it got removed from the uh, the movie, even though it really wasn't that big a scene. But, uh, hey, when your movie's already almost three hours long, so... Right. I, it, I did heard this. Actually, I've seen this. It is still in the movie. You need a pair of eagle eyes to see it. But there's a shot during the sinking where you see the bow just about to go under the water. Off in the distance, you can see a twinkling light. It looks like another star, except that it's just barely on the water of the horizon. And that is supposed to be that ship. You need a pair of eagle eyes to see it. And know exactly where to look, because it's only there for a couple frames. Yeah, I hear a lot of stuff about that. Didn't have enough life rafts weight, right? Or no, for the looks, I think. Didn't have enough think it was like a cosmetic thing. Look out. Uh, they didn't have enough lifeboats for... Which, that wasn't uncommon, and still not uncommon, believe it or not. Because <laughs> fun fact, those li the reason the lifeboats... Yeah, it was a cosmetic reason, but lifeboats also weren't intended to be a lifeboat. They were intended to be get you from the sinking ship to the rescue ship. So oh, they, and it was unsinkable. Unsinkable. I don't know how many people that's actually where they thought wrong. that. I don't know if that's a thing people thought or if that came out later after it sunk. Yeah, I don't know either. Supposedly that's what they were saying. If that's what they said... Th th that sounds like one of those things it. that somebody said it and a lot of people believed them, but people in the know wouldn't have thought or said that. You know, like fake. It, it sounds like the 1900s fake news, basically. Yeah, like like the passengers would think that, but the people. Yeah, know and that about sounds like a media craze to me. Tips. I, I, I'm pretty sure the engineers who designed it probably didn't think that. Chad said it was the California. The California was the rescue ship, right? 
Is that the one that no. picked all the survivors up in the morning? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we are over water. We're talking about a ship sinking. <laughs> hey, it's better than watching a movie with a plane crash in it. <laughs> What's the best movie to watch on an airplane? Airplane. <laughs> Looking at a uh, one hour twenty eight minutes now until descent. So we're getting there. I am four, running four minutes late according to my thingy. I think we're going to land by twelve twenty. I will land by twelve twenty. Yeah, probably both of us. Like we said, it's the same. Yeah, spot. we're roughly the same distance. I'll probably, I'll probably be parking about the same time that you're touching down. I wonder if I could see you out there. Probably. I not. bet. Don't want my sim to crash, but I bet I could get in the showcase camera and go find you. I am. You're so far away from me. You're not even showing up on my list right now. Yeah, and you're not on my. Well, actually, I don't know how far out you'd have to be for it to pick where, up a plane. Where's? Are you coming up to the waypoint for it right now? Uh. Get this yoke out of the way. I'm coming up on Cine is my next one. Really? I'm, but I'm not even coming up on that. I'm 660 miles away. I'm on an airway now. You mean Civet? Oh, I passed that a long time ago. Cine. Cine. Can't. D i n n y. And then I got. Okay. There should be a. There should be <laughs> yes. another one between that one. The Cine's further ahead for me. Shit, did I miss it? Let me see. I'm coming up. My next waypoint is Thundu, and then Crean, and then Cine. And I know you're behind me. See one here. We'll pull up some brief, just to double check. Some brief. I remember you. You're the one that told me about some brief. Yeah. But you're like, do you got a sim brief? And I'm like, no. And you're like, get a sim brief. <laughs> how are you? How are you a flight simmer? <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, but it's true. Yeah, and that's at back the time, when it first started too. It's way better now. It didn't give me it. It gave me um, from Civet on the R sixty on the R four sixty five airway to Cine and then direct. Oh, okay. I'm on that same airway, and I got all these waypoints. It might just be a difference between nav data, because I'm not using a current one. That's still kind of weird. Well, I am a long ways off from Cine. The Cine is practically knocking on California's door. Oh, I'm looking at your screen right now, actually. I'm pulling it up in a few. Yeah, yeah I, I see all that stuff you got. I'm coming up to... Thundu, you're probably back where Forget is. Yeah, see, you should show up. If you were close enough, you would be showing up on this Active Sky map. <laughs> it's like we're meant to crash. We're talking about the dang Titanic. <laughs> they need to do an airplane three. Mike Myers could play Leslie Nelson's part. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I can't say it because it's not TOS, but technically there might be an Airplane 3. I'm kidding, there's not really. When are we getting a DC-3? Ooh, DC-3 would be fun. Does what PM did you do? The, the 10? I did a 10, I think, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm saying a DC-3 would be fun. I'd probably never get it, because I hardly ever touch the old birds like that. Yeah, I probably wouldn't get it, but I would I'd watch people. It would be interesting know what to watch. Doing. There was a freeware DC-3 for FSX that was like... It used the default FSX model, but it really overhauled a lot of stuff in it. I'm wondering if a lot of people... I'm still wondering if people are going to port some of the really good FS9 stuff, or FSX stuff they did, like... There's that 206 with the turbine engine that was really, really good, and that was all made by, like, a handful of people. There's that B-22 that was really good. The F-86. 
which is amazing. And I haven't flown that in a while. I need to go do that. Early on, some of it was making its way over. People were just doing straight ports. They didn't work so good, but... Yeah, probably people want to... I'm not sure how much stuff they'd have to redo to really make them good. I know visually, the models and textures go over, for the most part, fine. It's the gauges that everyone has problems with. Somebody made a pretty good looking X-Wing on X-Plane 11. Recently. He keeps sharing his progress, and he like every time he shares it, it's it looks way better. I want a good X-Plane, or I mean, <clears throat> a good, um... Good X-Wing in this. I'm losing my voice I'm sitting here talking for four hours. Hydration check. Cheers. Uh, drink water instead of blue moon. But, um, yeah, really good at X Wing on this would be fun. My Just the novelty of it. Yeah. My favorite fictional plane in FSX is a YS 1000 <clears throat> Saber Fighter from Halo Reach. And it is so fun to fly that in FSX. I don't know how the person did it, but he's made this thing so amazing. It's got a boost button. You can go full throttle up to like full burner, but then you can hit the boost button and go even further beyond. It's amazing. Wow. Also, it, it has space flight capability. Like it has that space gauge built into it. So it has something resembling proper orbital mechanics. But I don't want to do proper orbital mechanics and flight sim. I'll go to Kerbal for that. Then Summer says there already is a DC-3. There could be, man. There's just so much. There is a lot. There's too much to keep track of. I love how they did helicopters before Microsoft got a, or a Sobo got a chance to. <laughs> and made them actually work pretty good. It didn't work so good at first. So it was, it was cool to see the whole process. You know what it what? went from to now. You know what surprised the heck out of me when FS2020 came out? What's that? There were no gliders. That's I know. That surprised the heck they all out of me. For gliders. Like a glider, you would think a glider would be so easy to have. It, you literally just put a plane with no engine. And I, like with the new weather system and all that, like this was the perfect sim to have a glider in and it didn't have one. No, and you don't need thermals. That's the other misconception. I was I was flying those gliders, and everybody's like, "Are you doing this without thermals?" Bridge lift. Like when when I went gliding, there was no thermals. You just we just were up for 20 minutes. You know, you can still get towed up and glide for 20, 30 minutes without thermals. You just gotta stay near the airport. Yeah. The uh, those. Well, I'm a the little fucking winch won't get you very high, really, but. Mm -hmm. no, if you're in a mountain, no. you have ridge, 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 ridge lift. That's a thing, if you're in a mountainous area. Got towed up by one of those Pawnee's crop duster. You know one thing you could do in FSX that not many people knew about? You could change what the tow plane was and what it did after takeoff. So you could have you can it, do that on here. You can? Oh, that's mm -hmm. fun. You can... You can also have somebody tow you. Ooh. I've just never been able to be on with with somebody that was had the, the kinetic assistant app. If it's a free, you can app. also record tracks. So you can record yourself um, doing the tow, and then you can play that track for your glider to tow yourself up. That's fun. And there's thermals now. Actually, so there, the sim doesn't have thermals, but you can import real world thermals i forget where it gets the data from so whatever it collects the thermal data hey how, how, how is there even data for that i don't know i don't know how accurate they are but it's like a map of where they're all at i can see if they're looking at the weather data they might be able to generate their own thermals i don't i've never heard of anyone actually tracking thermals i guess it's like the the, the thing that i'm gonna compare it to the forest fire tracking well, yeah, well, that would have actual data there. online. I, that would be easier to track as you know. Yeah, because so that's that's public knowledge stuff. I don't. How the heck do you even track a thermal? They, 
don't know. Like I said, I don't know how accurate it, it would actually be. Just that they know the general area. You can also put your own in, but that's not so fun. You already know where it is. There was a program for FSX that could do thermals, and it would have uh, okay. clouds. It would generate its own clouds in real time. With shadows, too, actually. Oh, you're live. My, you're live for 20 people. My make money. <laughs> my make money, Grandma. I'm pushing the keys now. This is, this is, planes have crashed because of this. My make money, Grandma. You say I'll make monies. My make money, Grandma. Make monies? Are you going to share any? Going to share some monies? Probably not. <laughs> um, she can stay long. I mean, Why making some money, Grandma? Where did this come from? <laughs> oh, she associates this with work, so oh. she thinks. Money, money. <laughs> That's always at the. Now, money ah. come out. The money come out. What's this? The airplane. <laughs> airplane. We're going to San Jose. Oh, she wants to push the keyboard button so bad. <laughs> Tell her push Control Shift F1. No, 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 no keys, no keys, no keys, no keys. No keys. <laughs> All F4. <laughs> <laughs> now Control Shift F1 would be funnier. <laughs> Oh, what airline was that? Where like, sadly they lost the plane, but it was uh, they had the kids up in the cockpit, and the plane just started. I think it started banking to one to the left or right. They couldn't figure out why, and then eventually it like almost rolled, and I can't remember what can't happened remember. or what they decided. I know what you're talking about, but I can't remember. Go tell Grandma. Go tell Grandma what happened. Here, 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 take these cookies. Are these cookies? Here. Enjoy those. <laughs> Let's give her cookies. <laughs> <laughs> got pilot Emily with that. She was streaming. She's a Dash 8 pilot, but she had been, um, because of COVID, she wasn't working, so she was doing Microsoft Lights in. And they tricked her and she hit Alt F4. Oh, no. I crashed, but you know, it closed the desktop. She had never heard of that. Oh, she fell for the classic blunder. Nope. Oh, peanut butter. Want peanut butter? Go tell go, go tell uh, mommy or grandma about peanut butter. I want peanut butter. She likes to dip the Paw Patrol cookies in peanut butter. Yeah, she knows what's up. Bob. Hey, can you take this to the kitchen for me, please? Thank you. They're gonna get you some peanut butter, right? I'm open a window in here now that it's nice. Air in here. That should help a little bit. Oh no, the naked girl's thing is back. What? Oh, on your stream? The stupid bot. Hold on. I got a few of them earlier. Oh yeah, you were like you were doing something. It popped up earlier. Uh, Whoever gets to it first, I can get to it as well. Uh, it's lagging for me for some reason. Uh, Damn, that's so. Hide user. There we go. Oh man, you gotta use those emojis. Yeah, you gotta get that SEO <laughs> score up. Kids love emojis. And timeout. And I'm out. Move. Don't come back. I don't understand how that even happens still. We were talking about that earlier. Earlier? That was a couple of weeks ago. No, no, no. It, it happened earlier, so it came up. Uh, I was talking about how YouTube even still yeah, that is, is uh... dealing with that. 
Yeah, YouTube's... That doesn't seem to be as big an issue on Twitch as it is on YouTube. I don't know why. I guess Twitch is just better know. about that. But... Found the loophole. There's one flight in the 90s where the pilot let their kids in the cockpit, and one kid went to go sit in the pilot seat and started rolling the plane left and right. Yeah, the one, they got the recording and then the flight path on YouTube. The one I'm thinking the of. The actual. What I'm thinking of, they had the kid sitting in the uh, the pilot seat. And he, would, he wasn't really flying the plane. What they were doing was, uh, the kid had his hands on the yoke, but the pilot was messing with heading select. So he was just making the kid think he was flying the plane. But really, it was the autopilot. I think that's the one I'm, didn't it almost roll? I can't remember. It's been so long since I've watched anything about that particular accident. I, if I remember correctly, by the time the plane crashed, though, the pilot was back in the seat. The kid wasn't. Yeah. I think you're right. I, You know what? I think the autopilot half turned off. I think that was the issue. Like, it had... That does sound like it would happen, too. Because if you move the control yoke, it disconnects. Yeah, so it was like, it was partially on, it was in some different it was, mode, like the A320 has different laws. It was probably in like a vertical mode and they had disabled the, uh, the roll control and didn't realize it. Wasn't it a 737 too? The bin. I can find the video. I'm thinking it was, I think it was a classic 737, which 737's got nothing but bad design. Not really bad design, just old design. I I I, I don't like the 737. If you can't tell. Well, it's not really anything against the plane. Just I have a problem with airlines. Can't find the exact video. I think I found like a one of those shows. Error crash investigation or something. Yeah, there's a bunch of those. I like watching this YouTube channel. It's called Probable Cause. And the guy basically doesn't monetize any of his videos. He's a pilot. He's, like, rated on everything you could be rated on. And when a crash happens, he investigates it himself. And he gives his opinion of what he thinks happened. Because, like you said, the NTSB takes forever to do that. And they're usually wrong. Or they don't give you a solution. So he tries to let people know, like, what... A lot of it is, like... I'm just in... Ah! Whoa, how'd you get in here? You scared me. I didn't even know you. Daddy. Yeah? Daddy? Mm -hmm. Daddy, fight cars. Daddy, fight cars. Fight cars? It's hard. Making me glad I don't have a kid. <laughs> it's temporary. This is the toughest part. How old when is she now? When three? they're two and a half. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, almost three. She's two months away from being three. She's the same age as uh, Dixon's kid now that I think about it. Dixon, if you're still I here, isn't your, isn't your um, young and like three? I think it was fireworks. Doki. Daddy, play guitar. But Could have been gunshots. Daddy, play guitar. You play guitar. Daddy's busy. Daddy, play guitar. You 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 do it. You do it. You do it. You do it. Oh, I know that. You do it. You do it. Didn't fix this kid like three, if I remember correctly. Who's Vix? Vixen's kid? Vixen's a friend of mine. No, my Oh, I don't know. And Doki is on my chat. How old? Dude. I'm pretty sure she is. Uh, Isn't it your bedtime? I don't know. I, don't, I think Vixen ran away. So. She wants to spin in the chat. Yeah, she is a clone of Vix. That much we know for sure. I've muted it on the YouTube here. Uh, 
all mixed on the one trying... source for me, so... <laughs> oh, it. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mute it's that, then you'll lose the uh, engine. No, you're fine. You're fine. Holy crap, I can see I can see center airspace ahead on my nav display. Not on, are they? No. It's just my nav display oh. shows the uh That would have been airspace. exciting. I mean I can check. They weren't They're online not. ten minutes ago. They're not. Who is it uh Canada's got some coverage? Technically, he's not, but Bye. whatever. We'll let her believe that. He's gonna go to bed soon. Nope, there is nobody <laughs> online in front of us. Even uh, San Jose's offline now. <laughs> Nature's child. Nature's child said, let her talk on Vatsim. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could. There's no one around to hear us right now. <laughs> no one got a key hear mic it. with an angry topper. I don't. I think I'm so far away, I wouldn't even hear it. You know well, Boeing ever... Connects, the 797. That's actually kind of a good name. You know if they ever improved the uh, the radio stuff on VATSIM to where it's actual range data now instead of uh, the 15-mile circle that it was? I don't know, but they did greatly improve the clarity. You can deal that, though. So much better now. That was that was it was tough to hear them before. I'm just happy that it's had that they have voice CTAP now. That was one of my biggest pet peeves. That's why I didn't fly on Batsum that often, is because they wanted me to use text when there wasn't a controller online. And like I'm trying to fly this plane. I cannot type in a text box at the same time. I forgot about that too. Hey Shane, take care man. I'm go I didn't we didn't know you were still here, but I'm, I'm glad you lurking. came by and it was nice to talk to you. See you later, Shane. Did he ever say if he Luck on your stream was? tonight? Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, yeah, he did. Awesome. He said from FSE. But yeah, Shane is streaming tonight too. He's going to stream the PMDG. He streams at on about YouTube. 2 a.m. I can't lurk. I, I can't raid him. So. Actually, I need so to how many check. Hours? Three is hours? anyone I watch even online? I mean, I'm not going to be raiding for an hour. If I raid at all. Nope, oh, no one I follow is online. One hour. You're getting it done. Yep, one hour, 17 minutes. The flight attendants are serving snacks again, apparently. Either that or they... No, that can't be the same snack service. Can't see the U.S. yet. <clears throat> that will look cool. I can't even see stars. Oh, there's a star. It is a pitch black night. See lots of stars. Wish you could see that many stars when you go outside. But you have to live somewhere really dark. I live somewhere really dark. I can see stars oh, when I go lucky. outside. I gotta drive way the hell out of town. Remember the whole first time I did that, you could see the satellites. That amazed me. So I lived out in the woods, so it is pretty dark out here, but about an hour's drive from my house is a, a place that is a designated dark zone. You can go there and there's like next to no light pollution out there. There is still some here because there is a few towns nearby that put out enough light to cause some light pollution, but... Uh, 
that friend request came in. Gotcha. Greg is flying. He's on the other side of the world. That name sounds familiar. Who is that? That's Elite Greg. Was he there? When I think I that's was actually. There? Yeah, he he helped find it. it uh, but it was him. He didn't. Um... Oh, he wasn't in the mix as much back then. Yeah, I, was, I don't yeah, think he, he was around he was, as much. He was kind of behind the scenes doing the graphics design. He just took off out of um, Westchester County Airport in the... You guessed it. 737. <laughs> plane is this? He's going to Bristol. Nah, he's going to bed. That's what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> How long of a flight is he doing? It's got to be like six hours. Yeah, he's going to bed. <laughs> he's leaving the New York area right now, crossing the pond. In a 737? Hmm? They do this in the A318 even. Okay. That thing probably just barely has enough fuel with a good tailwind. Oh, Vixen yeah. just went live. I'll have to raid. I'll, I'll probably raid her if she's still online. When I, uh, I don't want. I don't want to chance my internet messing up and not being able to stream anymore. <coughs> yeah. He's yeah. Actually, Greg is Greg is hardly on the other side of the world. He's actually eating red. actually not far from us when you think about it. Far, but not far at the same time. He's closer to us than we are to him. <laughs> <laughs> and when you, that, which makes sense when you think about it. I've been doing too many airline flights lately. I need to get back in GA. Probably not going to do anything tomorrow, but... Um, One of the servers I'm on on Discord has movie night tomorrow, and we're watching How to Train Your Dragon 2, which is my favorite in this trilogy. I was considering doing GA tomorrow. I this is after this weekend. I'm back to pretty much probably rarely streaming. I want to get I want to get back in GA and play around with uh, the GTN gauge some more because I had not when I finally got my graphics card put in and uh. I, my first flight back was in the 182, which has the GTN in it, but it, it broke, and I had to fix it, so I didn't have it for that flight. I want to get back and do some more with it. I do like that gauge, even though it's a flight one add-on, and they kick me right the hell off. Oh, yeah, their ordering system, I think, used to piss me off. Oh, my God. Everything about or everything from flight Lost all my stuff. Just, their add-ons are good, but holy crap, like, they are so, they are so uptight when it comes to buying it and downloading and installing it. Like, oh lord. And it's so sensitive. If anything goes wrong, the whole thing could break and you only have like so many reinstalls before you gotta reactivate it. And you got license keys and order keys and key files and you need all three of them. Oh my god. <laughs> It's like this if, if if you think this discourages piracy it doesn't it encourages it at this point i want you to pay me to not use your add-on <laughs> trying to think if i should just go just planning my way in there's a couple transitions i don't know which one to use uh i this, think i can preview this is what you want to do right stay up at flight level 200 until you get right over the field and just pull the power, dump the gear, get really, really dirty, and just spiral right over the field, right into it. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, what that, I, that's what I've been doing wrong. That's the corkscrew approach. That's, that's, that's an actual Good military climb. approach. Military transports will do that. Hell, there's a mission in FSX where you do it, actually, in the Learjet. Many hours to the arrival? An hour. Yep, I'm, An hour. 
I'm looking at one hour, 11 minutes. I think I'm going to do a BBJ flight, but I, I don't think I'll stream that one. I think that's one I'd like to make a video out of, what you're saying. But those SUVs drive up. It's got the nice cabin. I could do something with that. I guess I can make up my own route, too. Yeah, if it's a BBJ, you can go anywhere. What was the one I recommended yesterday? Uh, Hilton Head, which they don't fly 737s into, but it would still be fun. But can you fly 737 into it? Yeah, you could. I mean, they, they get Embraer's in there. If you're careful, you could probably get a 700 in there. It's just a short runway, and the airport itself isn't very big. You don't have a lot of room, both in the length and the width department. Uh, I think... I know in the scenery for FSX that I made, which is pretty accurate, if you, a 737 right down the middle of the taxiway might be clipping its wing on the fence. <laughs> it's not very big. Uh, I know in real life they get Embraer's and RJ's in there, but nothing bigger. It would still be fun, though, to try to try to get a 700, a 700 out of there. Although Hilton Head's one of my favorites to go in GA, actually, because they have some fun procedures. Have I seen the Honolulu scenery? I saw a free one, talking about that, but I never got to see it. I downloaded it, and then I never went to fly there. I actually removed all my Hawaii scenery, because I was afraid it might crash. I wasn't sure. We still have to worry about that. <laughs> as we saw tonight, it started the stream. Yeah, but that was with that weird thing. What? So what, it, you said that was made, but that's a standalone thing, right? Yeah, made by AMC. And uh, does it like connect to the sim or something? Oh, I was just running it in the background. Oh, so you basically had two games running in the background for, at the same time. Yes, that, yes, that. but it did, it worked. It worked with X-Plane. I did like a three hour flight and it worked Flawlessly, it was perfect. It just kept going back there and messing with stuff, but I couldn't even get past the pushback. X Plane might be a little less with demanding Microsoft. than 2020 is. We need a high fidelity Grumman Mallard turbo props. There was a uh, there was a good Grumman Mallard for FSX compared. It was a freeware one too. It's really nice. The, the the engine sounded beautiful in it, but the, 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 that old. The old radial rumble. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the the sexy chat is back. Oh boy. Right, summer. That would be cool. I'll Should do somewhere tropical. On. Why is why is it that I think there's nobody on that website that I'd actually want to date anyway? Can you add them to the, the ban list? Like, I, hopefully, because that's the same account name as last time. I can report, I can remove, and I can time out, and I can hide. There's nothing on my okay, end let me see what I can ban, do. unfortunately. Because I would have if I could have. May not have anything either. User. I know. Oh, well. YouTube treats it well, there. What? Check this out. I already have them hidden from the channel and they're still showing up because right now it says unhide user on this channel. Yeah, it, it might take a minute to catch up because I, I hid them a second ago. Oh, it, it means hiding the message? I thought it meant like hiding them as a... I, I thought it meant hide channel. the channel. That makes sense. Alright. Uh, I can see my top of descent on my nav display, which is probably a good indication that I need to actually pull up the chart and see what my descent looks like. I can't Dirty, he remember. just got back. What is my arrival? It's the... Pirate 2, that's what I'm using. Yar, I'm a pirate. I should be able to block, yeah. yeah you can add people to a list and then they can't comment or anything on your channel. Okay, at or above two seven zero. You're gonna you're gonna hear me talk to myself for a second here. At or above two one zero. Oh, here's an interesting one. 
below flight level 195 and then below 15. You don't see them too often. Okay. I'm gonna put one 9,000 there. What's the most restricted one? Arg at 8,000. Arg. I like that waypoint name. Arg. I know, it's perfect for the pirate arrival. Is it on that one? Yep. It's the last waypoint. Have you seen all the Star Wars waypoints in Atlanta? I've seen them. There's plenty of references to football there, too. Lord of the Rings. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, Orlando's got references to Disney. Yeah, hey, YouTube's going to have to figure it out. Let's see, for any, we'll say 11,000. Yeah, I got to be added below 12 there. One thing with Volanta, you just can't, lately, I, you can't trust the top of descent. On our top of descent, like, like, we already passed it. But it's an estimate. That is, we're so far away. It would be crazy to start descending. Hey, what's up with this weather? I thought it was going to be clear. One, two, one, zero. Okay, I have got so, my descent programmed. Let's see, make sure it's all good. We got heavy rain. Want Cinny above flight level 270, which we will be. Hunt above 210 and 280 knot. 280. Pass it at 260. Thanks, Alexander. I'll try that. That makes sense. Block them, or report them, and then block if it becomes available. Ah. Is that how you gotta do it? That's a roundabout way of doing it. Does it pull the winds aloft into FMS? You can import the winds from uh, Stembrief, actually. It's like how you have the, the flight plan file, there's the winds file. Starting to get the yongs in, man. I'm gonna fall asleep. Alright, I got my arrival planned out. This FMS I'm using only lets me enter in altitudes as uh, exact altitudes. I can't enter them as like spaces. So I have to I have to really plan my descent out. That and I don't trust the VNAV in this thing. Although I might try it tonight. I haven't used the VNAV in it in a while. I don't know what... Let me look at Windy TV. I'm going to see what they're showing about me. <sighs> oh, maybe that's not rain. Maybe that's just... Clouds, cause it might be clouds, cause I don't show any rain at San Fran right now. Yeah, it's totally clear on Windy TV. I got the precipitation filter. There is a uh, an air met for uh, low ceilings and IFR weather. Oh, oh really? That's it. Is it doing auto land tonight? Yeah, I don't think we're having I don't think we're having heavy rain either. What is this then? Maybe it's just clouds. I love that it has the sectional, that is so cool. But I like the darker one. It's easier to see. Darker layout. Oh, I almost pushed. Almost pushed a button. I don't know what would have happened. Uh, if the, you pushed. Hey, I see stuff. The front would have fell off.
can see it, but I can't see it out the window yet. One of the streamers I follow on Twitch, one of her mods put a video on her Discord recently of just how easy, if you have the 7TV extension in your web browser, how very easy it is to accidentally ban someone on Twitch from mod view. <laughs> she, I didn't know you could upload videos. She, um, she accidentally timed out the wrong person in one stream recently. It was funny. Oh. Hey, we got a tailwind now. I've had a tailwind oh, the entire right. time. Not a very strong oh, one. Maybe, I, <laughs> maybe I'm just now paying attention to it. It's only at 12 knots for me. And that's, that's the wind itself. 28. What's, what's the actual tailwind I'm getting? A 7 knot tailwind and a 9 knot crosswind. My winds are 286 at 12. Yep, I think it's just clouds too. Oh no, is Nancy Pelosi importing the weather? <laughs> we getting vectors in the San Jose? Eh, you have to do it yourself. No. I'm going about it this way. I'm going from Cine. He's in the top cap. PAP was the last one. I'm using the Clyde transition at 4,000 feet to head down. I need to be really slow at that point though or it won't make that turn so good. Which I should be slow anyway, that's not far from 10 miles out. Your microphone is constantly hot by the way. Well, now it just quit. Uh, on Discord? Yeah, like I can hear. Oh, it's it right probably now. constantly hot because the computer fan. The fan is so loud. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like there's a fan going. It also sounds like someone is hammering something, but in the distance, which is an interesting thing. Uh, Looks like the two. Those fireworks are gunshots either. I didn't get a star either, and and last night they didn't use a star. Uh, like I said, they don't really last have waypoints any. Just, just yeah, yeah, like yeah, like you said, last waypoint is just fifteen miles out from the runway, so All right, kind of weird, kind of weird. I think I'll land on runway two eight left. That's a good one. That way, I don't have to worry. It'll be easier. It'll be a shorter taxi. Let's see. They don't have to cross it. Do I want an ILS or an RNAV? What do I feel like today? I'll take the ILS. It's easier on me to do the ILS. Okay, ILS, 28 okay. left. Sid B transition looks good to me. So Clyde's just the transition for the ILS. I have Zulip and Jenny's Ivic number landing. Oh, I should probably configure the plane now. Video six on the course heading. Okay. 
and the iOS frequency is 110.90. Watching the waypoints get closer on a nav display. Can you imagine how boring it is to be a ferry pilot? Hmm? Especially if you're doing ferry runs for like Skyhawks between the US and Europe. God, that's. I was just thinking about that one. That, that just sounds like. <laughs> oh, I think I'd jump out of the plane and get it over with. I think I would fall asleep. Like, I really I'm do. I'm sure they that's do. That's why I would never do it. I am sure they do. I will bet money that they do. Did you hear about that Delta flight where they both fell asleep? I think it was an A320. I did not. Ended up uh, an hour and a half past the airport. Oof. I did not, but it doesn't surprise me. Everybody's overworking their got pilots fired. these days. Both got fired. They, uh, they couldn't explain it. They wouldn't explain on frequency what happened. The controller kept trying to ask them. I, I forgot what they said, um, but... Everybody, like all the pilots who, who chimed in on it were like, no, after about 15 minutes of not hearing the radio, you usually get antsy. You guys went an hour and a half and didn't question not getting any radio. They, were asleep. they might as well have said it because they were going to get fired anyway at that point. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure everybody yeah, on tried. the frequency knew what happened. At least, or they probably didn't know at first, but once they heard them on the frequency and they were okay, they're like, okay, yeah, y'all fell asleep. Because that, that, that does happen. Nobody wants to admit it, but it does. Mm hmm I, I, um, there's a podcast I used to watch. Oh, you knew about it. I don't watch it anymore, but I was watching it when I was talking to you. Um, and the airline pilot guy, he admitted to it. Him and the other guy, they, they fell asleep on, like, a DC... One of the DCs, I think. Me. But they woke up in time. I mean, nothing went wrong, but they slept past a few waypoints. It was just enough to, like, become nervous that they had just done that. I know myself, and I would do some shit like that. Yep. I can't do this. You know, I'll sit down at a movie and fall asleep. I'd like to say I could do this, because I, I wanted to do this. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure that would happen to me at some point, too, because it does happen. It's very common, actually. Blame the airlines. Part of me is actually happy I never went into aviation, though. I was young. I didn't hear the, the, down, the bad sides of it. Now I hear all the downsides and the bad sides of it. I kind of wish I could have right. made it in there, though. No ILS for you. Who? Well, um, sturdy. He said he's doing three zero, right? Uh. Yeah, you would think somebody would have checked on him. I don't know how much communication they have with flight attendants. Like, if that's normal for them not to speak to them for over an hour. It, it is. <laughs> if it's a longer Depends flight, Depends on the yeah. length of the flight. Because, like, really, they don't need to talk to them that often. The flight attendants do their own thing. That's one thing I always disliked about a lot of passenger management add-ons. Is I do not want to have to micromanage the freaking flight attendants. I shouldn't have to tell them when to, to serve the meals and stuff. That's what I like about FS Captain. I don't have to do that. They do it all by themselves. I don't have to worry about a thing. I just have to tell them to sit down if it gets bumpy. That's kind of funny they added that. I guess it's just like a thing for you to do in their app, but yeah, the, you wouldn't have anything to do with that. Not yep. your job. Yep, that's what I love about FS Captain is it, it really drove home that point where your job is fly the plane. You don't have to worry about managing the company or micromanaging the flight attendants or anything. Your job is fly the plane. A pigeon? <laughs> oh, that'd be crazy. What he said a pigeon? pigeon got in the cabin. Oh. He said he saw a video on TikTok. 
Better, better a pigeon than a snake. Snakes on a plane. Well, oh, that's happened multiple times, actually. Somebody be flying, usually a GA plane, and then a little snake just pops out of a gauge or something. Like, what the hell? My luck it end up being a venomous one, and I'd be like, oh, I am just so screwed. That's my ETA is 55 minutes. How? How is that possible? Hope it's wrong. My ETA is 0709, and I don't know where the clock is on this plane. Oh, there it is. It is 0625 right now. Which is actually, I just realized my sim is running two minutes ahead of real time. Interesting. Oh well. Check mine. So good. I'm getting to that point though where I just want to land. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting there too. I'm about to come up to what's this waypoint? Green which is the last entry waypoint, and then I begin my arrival. But still, like, 45 minutes to go. I wonder if I want to let the VNAV do it this time. I don't really trust the VNAV in this plane. Well, the chart for ILS. Field elevation, 62, so I don't have to change this at all too much. Done. It's also a Cat 1 and 2 runway. Oh. Oh yeah, I still haven't figured out where I'm parking. It's going to be hard to find at night, too. <clears throat> should I even go to a terminal? Just shut her down on the runway. You'll be fine. I should go to, like, the... Just leave it there all night. Yeah. Keep Tower. that sim on. <laughs> <laughs> Tower shows up in the morning. What the heck? <clears throat> you plan on flying DCS again anytime soon? I'm just going to pick any gate. I don't care. Yeah, I'd like to stream the helicopter. Or whatever. Uh, Apache. I've been... I've never been... streamed it. For some reason, I want to get in there and kill things, but I only have an F-15. Because I really didn't oh, care well, about anything else. Let me know. Just, just run the trial. Run the trial and we could fly something together. Um, you can do it. You, you have to do it on their website, though. Uh, might be more trouble than it's worth. Because the only plane I'm really interested in is the F-5. Or the MiG-28, whichever one you want to call it. Hey, Joey, Freshwater. I guess they do. I just found out about them last night. Pull on to 101, pass the blast fence, and go home. <laughs> Park at GA, have passengers slide up the wind. So I would just go left, so that it makes even more sense for me to take... Where? Where would I park? I need to pull up satellite image. I need to get a picture of what this looks like. Where? Oh, where? Wait, you're flying southwest? No. Oh. Someone else is. I'm on, uh... I'm at, uh... Hillwood Airways. It's a charter oh. company. I don't know. Charter company would probably park at GA, then. 
but say Southwest Park yeah, I'm at fine. the at Terminal B. I think I found where I'll park. It's way down there by almost near the start of three zero left. Oh, not quite. What's the taxiway? I can't. Over by Delta. Not the airline, but taxi. So I'll land 30 left. Probably exit at Juliet. Or golf if we're lucky. That'd be nice. Take whiskey. Down to Delta. And I'll park over there. Pull out the air stairs. Yeah, we can do that. The parking GA from this video. Oh, you just came into Oakland from Kahului. Or you did it in real life. All right, Chad. You have a good night. Thanks for coming out. I don't know. I don't know. I know how they do it because I watched. It's nuts. One of my favorite streamers did one back in December and was planning to do one, another one soon, but it helps when you have face cam. So, like, you can have people, like, tell you to do shit. I don't do face cam. I don't want to do face cam. I've gone back and forth on face cam. It's easier not to sometimes. It is. Or you can relax a little more and pick your nose and yeah. all that good stuff. You don't know, I might not even be wearing pants right now. See? Well, you can get away with that anyway, just don't stand up. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Now I'm getting hungry, but it's too late to do anything about that. <laughs> By the time we land. I mean, I could eat something here, but... This is why I have granola bars. Cross screen with 15.7 fuel, I should have had 15.2. I'm 500 pounds heavier. Must have. I'm so yeah, it's still thinking that I'm gonna arrive with. Only a hundred pounds more fuel than I should have at San Fran. That's interesting how it's, I don't know how it's figuring that out. It's nice to know that Sim Brief was pretty accurate. I had to increase the, uh, What's up, Zay Omen? Offset by 5%, but... I My mean, 5% was spot on. Six knots out of three two zero. The winds have calmed down quite a bit. They were just a little bit higher than this. I have a slight headwind now. It's three three zero at three. 
Really? Yep. I just hey, entered San Francisco Center's airspace. I still have a bit of a tailwind. 18. So close, yet so far. So close, you can taste it. The, the amount of time we have left is what I put in normal flights. <laughs> like this is a normal flight for me, just one. Um, yeah. You know, come to think of it, most of the time, I mean, I have streamed for this long for single, but not single flights. It's usually multiple flights. crash to desktop solve all this oh no don't say that <laughs> i mean i don't really care about logging hours that just takes me off it's just so annoying it would be very sad at this point you're switching to the the ils too oh yeah yeah you, you have to work for it a little more if you did three zero right yeah we're being lazy. I just pilots want to deal with the last I, I might do an auto land if the wind. <laughs> just because I don't want to deal with it. Although every time I've tried to do an auto land recently, uh, it, it just hasn't been able to do it. It's just been unstable when it gets too close to the runway, and I'm, I have to take over. I haven't done one yet in this Microsoft one version. Too much IFR stuff lately, and too much airliners. Got to get in a GA plane, do a visual flight rules flight. Just got to think of one that sounds fun. Maybe Hilton Head to like St. Augustine or something. That's easy. That might be too easy. Just keep the ocean on your left. I'm gonna do more Vatsim with GA because I usually don't. I usually just do it for the airliners. Yeah, because it, that's. It's boring in GA on that some most of the time. Everybody wants to fly Especially for VFR. Wouldn't mind doing IFR either, but I like I like to get one seventy two. I like to get in military airplanes and just be a thorn in people's side. <laughs> Within reason. I'm like I'm not going up and intercepting anyone, but it, it is always fun to like give the controller something to worry about. He's like, oh great, now I gotta deal with a plane that goes 400 knots. It stalls at 250. Some of them, some of the controllers, God bless them, just can't handle a plane that goes that fast. They try, but they don't, they don't do a good job. Some of them do, some of them can handle it. Missed my top of descent so many times. Lately, I've been good about it. I'm coming up on mine, actually. About 70 miles away. You see the coast yet out of your window? Uh, I Can't see, see any darkness. All I see is darkness. It is dark out there. I can't even tell where the, the sky ends and the water begins. Something. Just send me a friend request. Let me get it. Do something around the Bahamas. Gained like, I've gained like three friends tonight on this. Gotcha. I do some GA After this, I'm gonna go around the Bahamas. That sounds fun. I'm gonna intercept Greg after this flight. They did that to me once. Him and somebody else. They they found me. A cruise, and they took all these photos of them flying around. <laughs> they were in F-35s. <laughs> pull up to you. Sir, pull over. 
right off the megaphone. We, you were texting while flying. We have photographic evidence. Stop the jet, please. Oh. Yeah, there is nothing to do to pass the time. That's why you gotta get up and leave. I haven't stood up Unless... in my chair in like two hours. Yeah, that's the bad part. We're all gonna have terrible backs. I bet if they did a case study on flight simmers, there's no data because it's so new. We're all gonna have terrible knees and oh, backs. Oh, there's plenty of data because it's the same thing for gamers. Yeah, well, I guess all you gotta look, do is look at any desk job. Any how that desk job, out. any, any gaming, yeah, which streamers, anything like that. And our setups aren't exactly ergonomic. You can't really have a yoke and a setup just right with the throttle and. That's why I didn't bother. I, I fly too I many different aircraft to try to set anything up specific, so I just went with a yoke, throttle, and rudder. Mainly use the stick. Oh yeah, stick. It's just I, I hate. I just don't like stuff on my desk. I don't like. I it. don't have a big enough desk for it. The only thing I want to get now, as far as flight sim hardware goes, is a switch panel, and not really flight sim specific, but I want to get a, a stream deck too. Yeah, those help a lot. I want to get a uh, at least a radio stack. Something I can tune. Comms and the nav. They actually, they all have that. Even that um, Cytec one, I think it has both. They do. Uh, you can get the Cytec radio has like two windows, and you can set one to be calm, one one to be nav, one, and you got little knobs that you can switch between them at any time. So it's a pretty popular one. I got some friends that have that one. I just want the Cytec switch panel. And a stream deck. I might talk to my cousin because he's got a stream deck, but he doesn't really stream anymore. I wonder if he'd be willing to part with the one with all the buttons. Yeah, I think he's got like a one of those sitting around. I think. Where did I told you? If I told you about that one. Not about the stream deck, no. If he'd be willing to part with it for a decent price. I mean, I can't really set it up right now. I don't have enough USB ports. I don't know where I put it. I am now 40 miles from my top of descent. Jeez, I'm, st I'm still 125 nautical miles from the waypoint that's still a little bit far from the top of descent. My computer just glitched for a second. You? Oh yeah, I forgot. You guys are way ahead. weird it's been doing that every flight right about when i get to the top of descent my sim will freeze for a brief second and then like the window refreshes it's so weird i don't know why it's doing that purple cm3 and the mfg crosswinds are coming out wednesday well oh, has some nice stuff I need the door shut, but I can't have it getting this hot in here. If I open the door, it feels great. Um, but the door shut. Where is your air conditioning vent in that room? The back right. The only real well, without having to buy like a portable AC unit or anything, the only thing you can do is move the shit so it's uh, near to that vent. In my in my room, my AC vent is literally right next to me. So it I'd buy one. I just. I need to be guaranteed it'll work. Well, they work. They work pretty good if you get a 
You don't even need the real AMD. Tiny ones? Uh, yeah, portable AC units. Where you'll have like a hose sticking out a window. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, like a swamp cooler thing. Uh, I no, I mean like the, the, the ones you load water in, like you can put uh, cold water. Hey, no, Peter, that, that's a swamp cooler that you're thinking of. I'm thinking of a, a portable AC unit. It's literally an AC unit with like a condenser and all that. And you have to you have to hook a hose to it and then run that to a uh, a window so it vents the hot air outside. It would work. I got a big window right here. It would I could do it with. Oh, I'm flipping I'm my seatbelt sign back on. We are about to start our descent. Good to see you too, Peter. I saw you uploaded a video the other day. I remember if I commented, but I did watch it. I'll have to go back. Now I click the like button. Like, comment, subscribe. Hey, I know what we can do when we do flights like this. We could play um, Among Us spin off you. Oh. You were using the. I just that looks so good. From dispatch. Cleared approach into San Francisco. Expect gate Alpha 8. Winds 30012. Altimeter three zero zero zero, runways dry, density altitude minus three hundred. Thank you, dispatch. <laughs> Alpha eight, is that the gate I freaking planned for? I can't remember. Might be a different gate. I'm using the Gladiator too. It's not the Evo. I don't even have a throttle hooked up right now. I'm just using. The, I'm using the stupid throttle on the on the stick. Works. Did I just hear your kid in the background? I thought she went to bed. It's gotta be almost midnight there. I'm 44. Oh, this girl stays up. Right, when, my, my... when my niece was two, both of her parents worked nights. So just imagine that poor kid's sleep schedule. She basically... didn't get a nap, or she, she got a nap super late. That's why she's still up because we oh. bought a swimming pool. So she was all excited about that and didn't nap. My game just like froze again. That's weird. I don't think it likes the fact that it's been going this long. My computer's probably give me a break. Processor specifically. That's my CPU oh. temp. Uh, I mean, it's a little on the toasty side, but it's nothing bad. All right. Peter, I would love a cup of beer. I love a cup of beer right now. I could go get one for the curator. Beer in the cockpit, why not? You know? Ladies and gentlemen, we've begun our descent. You're all asleep. <laughs> Not think about crashing. But a swimming pool inside the BBJ would be awesome. I'm just going to go ahead and set my altimeter. Which, now it's 30 even for me. That's what a active sky shows. Oh, somebody earlier, I don't know if you're still here, asked when uh, the X-Plane 12 was coming out, and I heard rumors of... Later this year, uh, I think. Pre-beta where we can try it in July. That would lead me to believe they would release it in mid-August. Which is what Microsoft Flight Simulator did. That would be a good time. That for is. Them. Yeah. This don't do what. It's all speculation. X Plane, Lambda Research, if you're listening, do not do what you did with X Plane 11 and release it at literally the worst time. Did they release it? 
when rem- school started? They, re- they released it. Okay, it went into early access on November, and the full release was in March. The two worst months to be releasing a game if you're not a AAA developer. And I remember that came out in wow. 2016. They went up. They were releasing alongside every major AAA title plus a new console. It, it was... Don't do that. You're just really asking to get hammered. I think they went up. They went up against a COD, Battlefield One, uh, Titanfall oh. Two, Final Fantasy Fifteen, um, The Last Guardian. I think Near Automata as well. Plus the Switch launch and Breath of the Wild. Holy cow! Like every major heavy hitting game, basically. Summer thinks it's coming out in December. That's almost what they did before. So it that, could happen. That would, that would be better than November, because that's the major AAA month. But uh, a, a, a good time for x would be August, like early Q3, during the summer games drought, basically. Because that's when FS2020 came out. That's, I'll guarantee you that's what Microsoft was thinking. Come out when there's not much coming out. Especially Microsoft, because they don't want to compete with themselves. The only thing really coming out in August is, like, indie games. Okay, what is going on? My frame rate just went to crap. Are you updating the weather right now, simulator? No, it's not the frame rate that went to crap. What's going on here? The frame rate's fine. It's literally pausing every couple seconds. Uh Uh-oh. Um, beer. I don't know why it would do it now. I was going to say the bit rate. No, it's it's my game itself. Oh, well, the game's actually doing it. Yeah. Which makes uh, it... Normally when something like this happens, see. it's a weather update with that guy, but... Uh... I don't know. It, it might clear up after a while. Hopefully. God willing. Or like traffic is loading in or something. Bots. But I don't have AI turned off. Yeah, I think it's weather. Won't give up. Oh, wait, what the heck is that? What is that doing out here? That might explain what I'm looking at, actually. What are you looking at? Okay, the frame rate just moved out. Um... So you know that mission in FSX with the secret island? Secret island? Where you have to like, there's a secret island off the coast of Japan, you have to fly a Learjet out there? I'm sure if I saw it, I would remember it. Look at my stream. Uh... That's not there in real life. I just had your, I just had, hold on, leave it up, leave it up. Better hurry, because I'm flying past it. Just had your stream open too. Oh, here it is. Although that looks really neat with the clouds because you can't see the. They're just poking just above the clouds down there. <laughs> you seeing that? How tall would that be? What? What's your? Where are you at? What's your elevation? I am flight level two one zero now. So that goes up to almost ten thousand probably. Yeah, that's the that is the secret island because it's a it's a it's an object. It's not part of the world. I must have put that there for some reason, and then completely forgot I did. But it looks really neat though, with the way it's poking through the clouds. That's interesting. I wonder. I, I think probably... I see the terrain. Yeah, I'm over the ocean right now, according to literally everything. So that really shouldn't be there, but oh well. Oh, 
come a long way. Here it is. One. That's a flight. Transition flight. altitude. Altimeter. Two Check. nine nine two. It's a southwest flight. It's called Sky One. Nice picture, though. We're for sure getting some clouds. See how low are they? I just got a low fuel warning pop up. Didn't you? <laughs> now would be the time. Didn't you say you saw something about low ceilings? Uh, it wasn't low ceilings, it was just low clouds. I got plenty of fuel, I don't know why. Well, maybe I am getting close to my reserves, but... Uh. Let me see, let me check the weather again. Yeah, at San Francisco, there's few clouds at 700 feet, which makes me think there might be a marine layer, but, uh... No, it's no, no big deal. I can land the plane blindfolded. Actually, San Jose is kind of in the middle of it all, and it's clear, but the approach might have some. They're moving that way, though. 5.8. I think. That. Uh, go ahead and turn the ILS. I'm going to play 2.8 left. Did I say? Uh, Sidby. Sidby transition. Let me go ahead and get that plate. Oh, they got GLS approaches here. Interesting. When you stream, can you play them back, or are they just over? Uh, no, they save well, as a VOD. Twitch setup. They save. But Twitch only saves them for two weeks, so if I don't transfer them to YouTube, they'll disappear forever. And Flight Deck Companion has aborted for some reason. 
Summer's gonna head out. You better make the 737 BBJ video. That would be fun to see your reaction to the SUVs and all that stuff. But good luck on the rest of the flight. Hey, thank you, Summer. You have a good night, and I'm going to try to do that this week. Unless Phoenix comes out and it takes over everything. But huh. a tropical BBJ flight is definitely on my list. I guess I'll just send it straight down to 4,000 since we don't have any other restrictions. Alright. It's my weight. 179.7. This flight deck companion crashed on me. I'm going to have to do this calculation myself. 142. I think it's coming out this week because they just released the price and they just said it's finished beta Fly flat. close to the barber pole yeah oh actually how'd we go to point eighty? we were on mock from point seven nine we still are can i even change this at this point I can see the lights. Might slow it down a little bit. Of a city. Civilization. <gasps> oh, shoot. We were using standard. I swear. I must have just clicked that when I was messing around. Thank you, Peter. He caught it. But uh, I switched off of standard mode. I was messing with it earlier, tuning up. Now you can tune the pressure before the nut. I put in 30. I bump stuff all the time in this plane, either with the scroll wheel when I'm trying to zoom in on something, or I just click. I just want to get rid of the scroll zoom, but I really like the scroll zoom too. Oh, crap. I just hit a button. Fuck. I just lost my right engine. Oh shoot. Restart it. I already know what I did. I have the airplane. Well PMDG's doing this good, I think I think it'll I think it'll be smooth, maybe. The Phoenix. No, we got we got standard, Peter. I mean, rewind it just a little bit. We had standard. I just I bumped that very recently. Uh, button for it. Come on, engine put restart. Up, put, put standard back when we were over by Hawaii. Still. Oh, but the sense coming down though. I didn't realize that button shuts off the engine. That's not what it's supposed to do. Is it? Uh, is it restarting? Yeah. Um, minor problem. I, I have it on. Um, I have control right now, but yeah, yeah. Autopilot disconnect. I'm aware. Okay. Back on. Set up scroll zoom to. Oh, are you clicking zoom? That's what I should do because it's causing me problems. And look, if I scroll zoom right now, look. If I get those instead, you know, I could, but it happens anywhere. It could happen anywhere I'm looking at. Oops, I almost did it again. I'm just trying to mess with the circuit breakers and I'm... It's not working. I to click. Oop, that was a frame rate hiccup. Yeah, there's a marine layer. Just a, some few clouds directly where the water is.
my god, I can hear my music playing again. Hey, I see land. It's a good sign. Flight attendants. Approach check, check the flaps. New Phoenix photos get released today. If they have, I haven't seen them yet. I need to do that after this. All right, speed brakes armed. We're getting close enough to where I should put the seat belts back on. The San Francisco traffic Delta 9502 is 10 miles to the east inbound ILS 28 left San Francisco. My brain is a bit cooked at the moment. A uh, question for a newbie flight simmer. Is a GTX 1650 4GB good enough to play titles like FSX with add-ons P3D? Four. He does sixteen fifty. I'm using four gigs. 1650. Version five performs really well. You could probably get away with it on version five. I mean, I'm using a six. Never seen it. I'm about to get a TCAS warning from them. Oh, even worse. Yeah, they don't take off from that side. It's time to check the gear. I don't think so. Definitely don't land. You're down? Who knows? I don't know. Cessna out of San Francisco. Maybe they do that, I don't know. I don't think All so. Alright, flaps are set. On, on localizer, on glide slope. Hey, we're... 